celebrations for what the Sri Lankan government calls a new era. In what used to be the Tamil rebel capital, it's staging a group wedding for fighters who've come over to its side. This former rebel couple are now on the government payroll. We are happier now. We spent a year and a half in the rehabilitation program and we changed ourselves. We have started a new life. New development too, with the government spending huge sums to revive the economy in the north. But the price for the majority Tamil population is an often intimidating military presence. There's a real sense of fear here. We've come to this shopping area to talk to people and almost immediately these soldiers have showed up. There's also a police car nearby and now no one wants to speak to us. A rare voice speaking out is Kandaswami Ponama. She admits her son-in-law was a Tamil Tiger rebel but says the army arrested the whole family four years ago, including her grandchildren. They were just five and three years old when they were taken. They were flowering buds. I have to believe they are still alive. That's what keeps me going. Otherwise, I would kill myself. The Tamil Tigers became notorious for hundreds of suicide attacks in their 30-year battle for independence. But they finally succumbed to a massive army offensive four years ago. Both sides were accused of atrocities, the rebels of using Tamil civilians as human shields, but the army of indiscriminate shelling. And this still sours hopes of reconciliation. This is the same area today where the Sri Lankan army finally defeated the Tamil Tiger rebels. For the many civilians caught in the crossfire, this was their only escape through this lagoon. But the UN and others believe that up to 40,000 people were killed in the fighting here, mostly because of army shelling. And all this time later, the Sri Lankan government is still resisting all calls for an independent investigation. Hugely popular in the south, the president feels little pressure to act and is preparing to host the next Commonwealth summit. His military dismiss accusations they committed a massacre. If 40,000 is a figure, I don't think we will, we, everyone, not, not everybody can buy that. This war, unlike in other countries, we, the, this war was between government forces and the LTT, not against the civilian population. We never fought with the civilian population. The obvious scars of war are fading as northern Sri Lanka prepares for elections. The land is united now, says one Tamil. But people's minds are still divided. Andrew North, BBC News, Jaffna.